Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to maintain your Zebra printer. For this video we're going to be working on a ZP450 printer. This video also applies to the ZP500, the GK420D, GX420D and similar design printers. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to use some, um, with just a regular brush. Most of the times these printers they start accumulating debris on the gap sensors. The first sensor is right here underneath. And there is an additional sensor right over there. So we're just going to try to do some dust removal from there. A lot of people also use the uh, canned compressed air. Just spray it over there so there is nothing there. And then after you're done with that, you can also use the cleaning pens. That is just a fancy pen full of uh, alcohol, so we actually just use isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol with a clean towel. So we just put some alcohol in there, and then just gently clean your thermal head. Make sure there is no debris on it, and you can also clean your platen roller or rubber roller, roller as we call it. Some of our customers, after printing so many labels, they start getting white lines, white vertical lines. You can uh, fix that by cleaning the thermal head, make sure there is nothing in it. If there is debris deposited on the thermal head, you're going to start getting those lines. So make sure it's nice and clean. So after you're done your cleaning, you can calibrate your printer. And remember, you can use alcohol, the, the, the pen, the brush. Or, or the uh, compressed air. Okay, so after we're done cleaning the thermal printer, we can put the labels in, and we're gonna do what's called a manual calibration. So we just wait for the printer to come up. The printers usually do the calibration by themselves, but in case you need to do that manually, you can just wait until the printer gets ready and all of this is normal the printer needs to do a self calibration okay now so now I know that it works correctly but if I want to do the self calibration you just push the feed button once you wait until it flashes once and then twice that will send the command into the printer to do a self calibration that will automatically check your label size and calibrate it for you. Now your printer is ready to go and that's it. Let us know if you have any questions. Good day.